Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, located on the foothills of Sahyadri, is Asia's first space institute setup, supported and funded by the Department of Space. The institute was set up with the noble mandate of encouraging, equipping and engaging young billion minds in the Indian space program. And without bright uh, um, engineers and scientists, you cannot have a very ambitious program. Space Commission, which is the biggest body in the Department of Space, uh, advised Department of Space to uh, see that whether they can start an institute similar to IITs and NITs, but it should uh, address the niche areas of space science and technology. So it was decided to set up an institute called Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, which will cater to the need of uh, uh, space science and technology research in ISRO. Indian Space Research Organization has made its mark as the country's leading institute involved in developing and building space technology and its application to various national tasks. ISRO has successfully operationalized two major satellite systems, the Indian National Satellites, INSAT for communication services and Indian Remote Sensing IRS satellites for management of natural resources and two satellite launch vehicles, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, and Geostationary Satellite Launch Vehicle, GSLV. Indian Space Research Organization is a dream destination for many aspiring space scientists, and IIST provides the necessary education and passage to ISRO. Recognized by UGC as deemed to be university, IIST offers a complete range of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral programs with specific focus on space science, technology and applications. Situated in the thickly wooded campus in Waliamala, some 28 km away from Thiruvananthapura, IIST has an undergraduate program in aerospace engineering and avionics engineering while a 12 degree program in engineering physics. This 12 degree program comprises of a BTEC in engineering physics and postgraduate specialization in astronomy and astrophysics, earth system science, solid state physics and optical engineering, leading to an MTech or MSc or MS degree. Aerospace engineering concentrates on uh, aerospace plus mechanical. So it's uh, the program is a mix of mechanical engineering and aerospace engineering. At the BTEC level, we teach basic courses like solid mechanics, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and heat transfer. We also offer applied courses like aerodynamics, flight mechanics, propulsion, aerospace structures and orbital mechanics. Uh, avionics is uh, basically electronics and communication with a bit of control included in that and a bit of computer science. The innovative feature in all three streams is that the students will learn in depth in specific areas needed for ISRO programs and also the generic requirements of engineering and science courses. The courses are offered through the seven major departments under various streams like aerospace, avionics, chemistry, earth and space science, humanities, mathematics and physics. Currently, IIST has 558 BTEC students in all the three branches of the institute. At the undergraduate level, every year, 60 students are admitted each to aerospace and avionics engineering branches and 20 students are admitted in the engineering physics branch. The eligibility criteria for BTEC admission is based on the joint entrance examination JEE advanced conducted by IITs and we have prescribed a set of uh, category wise minimum percentage marks to be secured by ca the candidates to be eligible for BTEC admission. As far as admission rank list to IAST is fully based on JE main All India rank list which is published by CBSE. 
we are very much happy and satisfied with this mode of selection for BTEC admissions uh, in terms of uh, quality of the students uh, and uh, the balanced uh, distribution of students from different parts of India and uh, an improved uh, gender ratio in the campus. Whoever comes to uh, IIST, the undergraduate students, uh, they are very lucky in the sense uh, the all uh, expenses being taken care of by the government of India. IIST has an assistantship package of rupees 46,000 for all students once in a semester to meet the cost of education. Boarding, lodging and tuition, uh, they are all free and uh, in, uh, at the same time uh, they get a book grant of 3,000 rupees to purchase uh, the books of their interest. But to be eligible for this, the student has to score GPA equal to or more than 7.5 points per semester. In case a student fails to score the requisite GPA, then his or her assistantship will be discontinued for the next semester. The assistantship is restarted if the student once again scores 7.5 GPA on the scale of 10. And in the MTech, we are offering 13 postgraduate programs and one MS program. The admission to the PG programs are open both to scientist engineer of ISRO and non-ISRO candidates. The admission for PhD against open advertisement is available to the public, while options for PhD admissions are also available to scientist engineer from DOS, ISRO and in-house faculty. And I registered my PhD part-time PhD under the guidance of uh, Professor V. Radhakrishnan. The topic was basically in manufacturing technology. It was in uh, uh, investigations on elasto-abrasive finishing of surfaces. So we got a lot of support from IASU LPSE, where I could use many of the facilities such as inspection, quality control facilities and all this. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is the Chancellor of the University, while Shri A.S. Kiran Kumar, Secretary DOS and Chairman ISRO is the chairman of the university. The students who have come out of this university, come out of this institution, have a challenge cut out for them where during their work they need to bring in new innovations and bring in new technologies and make space travel easier and accessible not only for societal benefit, but also for ensuring that we can travel to outer space and maybe make colonies in the future there. So it's a very challenging time where the environment within the country and globally is seeing a sea change and this gives us tremendous opportunities to look into the future and to look at how we can make things happen differently. Presently we have 94 faculty members uh, in the institute, excluding two inspired DST fellows. We have uh, faculty with uh, at various stages in their career. We have very senior faculty who have had a significant amount of experience in top institutes outside. And they, uh, I mean, naturally are experts in their areas and they are recognized nationally or internationally. And we have a large number of young faculty who are very highly qualified. I would say would be as good as uh, most of the faculty in the top institutes in the country like IITs and NITs uh, because uh, all of them have PhD and they are doing research. All of them are uh, very, very potential and very, very, uh, you know, uh, um, they have a credential record. IIST adopts a modern method of learning with a good mix of practicals, tutorials and lectures. Curriculum, even at the undergraduate level, is designed to give them a flavor of research as IIST lays emphasis on creating opportunities for innovations in space science and technology. Laboratory infrastructure is a key component of the learning environment at IIST. Flight Mechanics Lab is designed to reinforce the concepts through practical hands-on experience. We also have simulators so in which we teach them the controls. They go through a complete sequence of taxing, takeoff, cruise, that is climb, cruise, turning, landing. You know, on simulator, they crash hundred times, <laughs> nothing happens. Uh, but one thing they realize out of that is, flight is not an easy thing. Under the Center of Excellence Plan, 
each department has established laboratories for general and advanced research like the advanced propulsion and laser diagnostics lab. Information that you collect based on this laser diagnostics application will reveal enormous amount of insight into the physical and chemical processes that are happening and from there one could understand these phenomena better and that could lead to efficient design and uh, that could significantly advance the technological uh, capability of the aerospace industry. The virtual reality lab. First phase we have developed desktop virtual reality lab and we have a very good high-end workstation and 3D monitors and then we have also uh, gadgets which we can like data gloves and stereo vision camera and then we have sophisticated software which will allow you to create visualization, 3D visualization and you can uh, implement your ideas. And a climate observatory at Punmudi. Basically one of the objectives of our IAST is to probe Earth's atmosphere and clouds plays a bigger role in Earth's atmosphere. So we wanted to understand and we wanted to measure cloud by cloud, understand the basic physics behind its formation and if the pollution is there and if there is no pollution, how the pollution plays a role in the formation of clouds and its radiative impacts. We wanted to understand that. IIST and ISRO are working on many collaborative projects which provide opportunities to all students to work directly in the relevant ISRO's research requirements and contribute significantly to it. High-end workstations are installed with several advanced engineering and scientific software. A programming lab for undergraduate students has also been set up with 64 desktop computers and digital printers. An internet lab for the use of undergraduate students is also provided. The students of 2008 to 2010 batches had designed and realized a sounding rocket, Project Vyom, with extensive support of experts from BSSC ISRO and supervision of faculty at IIST. So the experience which they gained out of Vyom 1, now they are using for Vyom 2. For Vyom 2, we have uh, even more challenging uh, target. We are planning to take 15, kilometer, 15 kg of payload to something like 70 kilometers altitude. So it's really challenging because we want to still retain a single stage rocket. Main objective of this nano satellite program uh, is to train our students in developing and understanding satellite technology. The students have conceived a three-axis stabilized nano satellite of mass less than two kilograms to be launched as a piggyback payload in PSLV. We have developed uh, prototypes of the payload itself, that is the high energy particle detector, the onboard computer, and then the electrical power systems. Along with uh, the academics uh, content that we teach, we also uh, give an exposure to the students about the need of the society. Hence, every year we take them to one of the tribal settlements of Kerala. The students are trying to make a, a very simple technology which they can deliver to these people and through that they can better their life in the region. The main outreach program of IASG is IASG at schools, which we normally conduct for the school students of Kerala. It is a three-day residential program where we bring the school students to IASG and where they are introduced to the basics behind or the mysteries behind great technological achievements. The program primarily aims to catch the students, school, brilliant school students in their young age and explore or expose the world of science and technology towards them. With an objective to provide the students with knowledge and hands-on experience, students at IIST are encouraged to undertake projects and internship with ISRO under the guidance of IIST faculty and ISRO scientists. I am doing my internship in Strap-on Separation Dynamics. I am studying the background that is the parasitic flux analysis of the LWIR camera. If you see that one of our um, mission statements says uh, uh, that we have to network international and national uh, institutes of repute. To provide for exchange of students, IIST has signed MOUs with California Institute of Technology USA 
and Universities Space Research Association USA under the USRA program three BTEC degree physical sciences students and one aerospace engineering student spent three months in Lunar and Planetary Institute at Houston and one avionics student at University of Texas Arlington. I got an opportunity to do my uh, undergraduate project in um, University of Texas at Arlington. There I worked in along with the uh, lab. Uh, I worked in a lab, uh, aerospace systems laboratory which mainly dealt with aerospace control systems. Other program which is uh, very important is a scholarship which is instituted by Department of Space and Caltech University for the top student, topper in aerospace engineering, uh, BTEC student. Those students do one year MS in Caltech and this is one of the toughest uh, MS programs in US. The institute has adopted credit system and the total number of grades for BTEC course is around 162 credits. For the BTEC, uh, primarily we have a relative grading system which is followed. Essentially out of 100 marks, 50 marks are for the end semester exams, which is typically a three hour exam at the end of the semester. Then we have a couple of mid term examinations which we call as quiz 1 and quiz 2, which is of one hour duration and which effectively happens uh, in the middle of the semester. And we have a 20 marks for the teacher's assessment. Together it is 100 marks. On completion of course in four years of admission, a student shall be considered for absorption in ISRO establishments. From 2013, we have uh, a criteria for selection is 7.5. And 7.5, if somebody scores or more than that, then ISRO has the first right uh, to take them. So depending on the vacancy situation in 2013, those students who secure above 7.5 will be considered. If they join ISRO, they have to work for three years. Uh, I'm working in a group called CSTDG, which is Cryostructures and Tankages Design Group. Uh, it deals with design of cryostructures. Uh, so these are structures which are deal temperatures of minus 250 degrees centigrade. So it's, well, it's pretty challenging design them and uh, that is what my group deals with. Well, I'm a designer from uh, fabricator and uh, also I'm in charge of testing for the various electronic uh, power conditioners for the payloads of receivers and uh, amplifiers and uh, digital subsystems. I'm working in INSS series of satellites. Uh, the constellation which we are sending to space for having our own uh, global positioning system. So I am working as a thermal engineer there and I am looking after the implementation part of heaters, thermistors and other thermal elements in that. And for the benefit of the remaining students, uh, we have a IST placement cell which will put its best effort to help them in finding suitable jobs in aerospace related uh, industries or in institutions. In private as well as public sectors. IIST always encourages students to organize and participate in events and festivals. Consentia, the Astronomy and Technology Festival, centered on the concepts of imagination and creativity, is entirely managed by IIST students. Number of interesting events, quizzes, workshops, lectures, demonstrations, paper presentations and interactive programs in the domains of space technology, astronomy, robotics and applied sciences are organized during this festival. Students from all over the country participate in this tech fest which provides an opportunity for IISTNs to rub shoulders with their peers from other institutes. The main responsibility of technical committee is to help students discover their technical ability beyond the standard syllabus and the textbooks uh, which they spend the most of their time. Uh, technical committee also takes care of guiding the students via various uh, technical clubs like Aero, Aero Club and other activities where we help students develop various uh, skills which they perhaps can use later on in their life in the industry. Thanak, the annual cultural festival of IIST, organized every year, is a perfect platform for projecting the cultural and literary activities of this institute. During this uh, culture first, we uh, students will get a chance to interact with eminent personalities like Rageshwarma, Rodam Rasanga, 
or uh, K J Yesudas, Rasul Pukuti, and uh, and uh, people like that. The institute annually celebrates Sports Day, wherein students and faculty members compete in several sporting events. The students are encouraged and supported to participate in various state and national level competitions. The library set up by IIST boasts of an excellent collection of books and electronic journals, 24 by 7 online and internet services, fully computerized in-house operations, and open library management software, Koha. Uh, our book bank system provides at least one textbook per course per student during each uh, semester. We provide uh, uh, something like 8 to 13 uh, books which will be available for them uh, even at the beginning so they are not deprived of uh, uh, textbooks. At the initiative of library, a bookshop has been started in the campus for the sale of books at the discount. IIST's 11 hostel blocks for students and scholars are located in a peaceful part of the IIST campus with proximity to canteens, cafe, gymnasium and the medical center. Each of these hostel blocks is designed with well-ventilated rooms on single and double occupancy basis and furnished with essentials that enable comfortable stay and study. Wi-Fi is also provided in all the hostels, enabling high-speed access to the internet. Generator-packed power and ample supply of drinking water are ensured on a 24-hour basis. Each floor has common washrooms with modern cleaning equipment and sanitation facilities. Hygiene and cleanliness of the rooms, floors and surroundings are taken care of by routine housekeeping services. Security personnel are available for round-the-clock support in the hostels. IIST Canteen Services daily provides canteen facility to all the residential students, the faculty and the staff. Well-experienced medical team provides 24 by 7 services to students and staff on all days of the week. A clinic has been established on the campus with sufficient medicines and equipment to take care of any medical needs. IIST has ensured emergency medical care and hospitalization for all its students by entering into MOU with SUT Medical College. Every student of IIST also gets a medical insurance coverage up to rupees 1 lakh which is funded from the assistantship fee granted by the Department of Space. Here you have a full-fledged academically residential place where they are away from their homes, you know, away from their environment as such. It's in the extreme south. So we give them a series of holistic programs for their, for their development as such. The students can approach their faculty mentor anytime and get proper counseling and guidance on any of their personal and academic matters. The institute has a separate women's cell to provide for counseling and guidance to women students. When uh, a student uh, enters into the uh, IST campus, uh, we have made uh, all arrangement that the student is safe and they will not uh, face any kind of uh, harassment uh, from the senior students. Uh, from the beginning, uh, ragging has been strictly uh, you know, prohibited and uh, very strict uh, warning has been given to the senior students. As an academic and research university, IIST wishes to be engaged with the frontiers of knowledge, recognize the importance of providing value-based education, of making judgments about the relative importance of different subjects, and of giving equal importance to the issue of character and morality. True value of an institute lies in creating responsible and good human beings who will take on the onerous task of nation building and development. Overall, we want to make a unique institute, we want to make a niche institute which should address not only the space research and technology related problem, but our ultimate goal is it should be one of a kind for to address the national R&D uh, program 
and the projects and our students and faculty should act as a backbone for that. The vision of IIST is to be a world-class educational and research institute contributing significantly to space and the world. Oh